Okay, hello again, guys. Um, here is our second devotion for for today, which is if you are, it is Monday, April twenty seventh. Um, like I said in day number four, I'm recording two videos today because I was slacking on last Friday and decided to do yard work um, instead of posting a devotion. So you are getting two devotions today. Um, make sure you've heard day number four. Um, and then on Friday, we are going to begin the challenge um, with day number six, where we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the, the different um, sections of the red letter challenge. So day number five, going. When Jesus began his ministry, he moved with an incredible sense of urgency. In the Gospel of Mark, the words straight away or immediately are used more than 40 times. If Jesus moved with a sense of urgency, then I want to move with a sense of urgency. But it's hard to go full speed for God. We are naturally wired to want to be in control of everything and to go at a comfortable pace. When we decide to follow Jesus, we surrender our need to be in control. It can certainly be scary, but it can also be rewarding, exciting, and adventurous. Gary Hagen, founder and leader of International Justice Mission, wrote a book called Just Courage. In this book, he describes something that happened when he was 10 years old that still haunts him today. He describes a day when he was climbing Mount Rainier with his dad and his brothers. He was the littlest, so the climb was difficult for him. On this particular day, Gary's family wanted to reach Camp Murr, but Gary looked at the huge sign full of warnings for the trail ahead and asked to stay at the visitor center while they climbed. His dad agreed. So Gary stayed at the center and explored every corner. But as the day went on, this huge area started to feel rather small. And watching the informational video for the sixth or seventh time wasn't as interesting. He began to feel rather bored and sleepy and stuck. After the longest afternoon of his life, his dad and brothers finally came back. They were wet from the snow, famished, dehydrated, and nursing scrapes from the rock and the ice. But on the long drive home, they had stories about an unforgettable day with their dad on a great mountain. Gary says he realized, I went on the trip, but I missed the adventure. Gary chose what was easy. It seemed like a fine decision at the time. But in the end, it was rather boring. His dad and brothers chose what was hard and had stories, memories, and scrapes that they will always remember. Don't go on the trip and miss the adventure. Many of us want to follow Jesus only when it is easy and safe. The, moments, the moment it gets hard, we tend to lose faith and question God. But safe and easy makes for a boring story. In his book, A Million Miles in a Thousand Years, Donald Miller wrote, If you watched a movie about a guy who wanted a Volvo and worked for years to get it, you wouldn't cry at the end when he drove off the lot, testing the windshield wipers. You wouldn't tell your friends you saw a beautiful movie or go home and put a record on to think about the story you've seen. The truth is, you wouldn't remember that movie a week later, except that you'd feel robbed and want your money back. Nobody cries at the end of a movie about a guy who wants a Volvo. But we spend years actually living those stories and expect our lives to feel meaningful. The truth is, if we want to choose to do if, if what we choose to do with our lives 
won't make us won't make a story meaningful it won't make a life meaningful either if you recognize your life if you recognize your life was telling a bad story would you change it as we start this challenge remember you are telling a story you have the opportunity to tell the story of Jesus by what you do and say during this challenge and even though it's not always going to be easy i guarantee that you that if you do this challenge and live by Christ's word you will be living a story worth telling this final week of the challenge will be tough god will call you to stretch outside your comfort zone on those days the easy and safe things would be leaving the challenge without finishing but don't go on the trip and miss the adventure when god says go he will always go with you he will never leave you or forsake you when god calls you to go somewhere you never go alone jesus offers us a way of life filled with adventure mission and purpose are you ready buckle up the challenge starts now so we are now caught up to where we need to be on friday we are going to start day number six and on this page it says let's do this i hope you are excited um as i am to start this challenge um from here on out the the devotions are going to probably be a little bit longer because there's more pages um but it's going to be a devotion and then there's a bible reading and then there's a little challenge to do so it won't be too much longer probably a minute or two minutes longer so nothing um nothing really extreme that's going to still take up a lot of your time but i i hope you're excited as i am um i'm doing this challenge with you i've never read this book so um, I'm seeing what, what kind of changes it does in my life as well. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I will post um, day number six on Friday as we begin our challenge in the Red Letter Challenge by Zach Zender. Blessings on your week, guys.